Amanda, thank you so much for that report. Now, as you can see, a very busy day today in Granite City with the president's visit, the tour around the plant, and of course, the protests. John? A quick question, Em. You were down there all day. You were seeing the streets, the parks, and inside that factory floor there where the president gave his speech. What was the biggest takeaway from this event for you? John, a lot of excitement here in Granite City, a lot of happy faces when we took a step inside the steel mill. But in the end, there's always two sides of the coin. Of course, there's other industries that may be getting hurt with these controversial tariffs that the president is putting in place in his administration. And he did mention farmers today. Let's go straight to M. Wynn to start our coverage from inside the Granite City Works steel mill where the president spoke. M. John, we just took a step outside, but Granite City, the energy is so high here where the president was making his remarks in this U.S. steel mill right behind me. He went on for about now. President Trump imposing tariffs was also met with much opposition. Hundreds were rallying and protesting against Trump in the Civic Park, just not far from here. Let's go now to News Channel 20's Amanda Henderson, who had been there all day. Amanda, what can you tell us? With the restart of the two blast furnaces, about 800 people will get a job back. For now, live in Granite City, I'm Emwyn. John?